Hello, my name is Mislav. I work at Salient Consulting as a FileMaker developer. This video is intended for FileMaker developers and it's a follow-up to a blog post I wrote about a way to make using test data and your solutions easier. Developers often need data to work within a system as it's being developed. Many times you can only really test a FileMaker solution which has data in it, and just as often your users will have a hard time relating to an empty system. In order to make the QA process as effective as possible, and to get your users to really grasp what a system will feel like once it's deployed, it's best to flesh out a good bit of sample data. It's also important to know how your system's going to react when you have large record volumes. So if you have only 100 records, it's going to be fairly fast, but if you have 10,000 or 100,000 records, it's going to react differently. So it's good to have a way of creating a large number of records quickly and have them be populated with realistic data. Having said that, it can be time consuming and a bit of a hassle to generate realistic test data. The tool that I created automates this effort to provide real-world, randomly generated test data that integrates right into your solution. There's no import to do, just plug the file into your solution and you'll be all set. So in this video I'll demo this utility file that I created for this purpose. I'm going to open the demo file. It has only one table that we care about to track contact records. And you can see that there's just one record there right now. So instead of going to each field and typing in just sort of random data here, we can click this button. It's going to ask us if we want to leave data in fields that already have some data or if we want to replace everything with new random data. So we'll click replace and now all the fields are populated. So let's say we want to see how this file performs with lots of records. Let's say 100,000 or 200,000, something like that. Um, I'll do just 100 for this demo. But we could just as easily do 100,000. It would just take longer for the script to finish running. That's all. So now we have 100 records. And if we want to see these as a list, you can click here. You can see that all the data is empty. So if we want to populate these records with test values, we'll click here. And we select found set. And we could do either one here. And wait a few moments, and there it is. And we can see that all of the records now have test data. So if I wanted to use this in one of my other files, let's see how I would do that. So let's create a new file using one of the starter solutions that FileMaker makes available for us. We can use the assets one, and I'll save that here. So the first step is going to be to copy the custom functions. Next we will copy the modules folder. All right, next we'll create a new script, and we'll call it use test values for asset records. And this script will have just one step in it, and it will call this script, which is part of the module. All right, now I will add a button, and it'll call the new script that we just created. We'll name it use test values, and I'm going to set the hide condition so that it's hidden for everyone other than a full access user. And you could also maybe make it visible for test users as well. All right, so now we need to go back to the script that we created. The script needs to pass along a parameter. And to help us figure out what the parameter should look like, we can run the create parameter script. So I'm going to open up the data viewer and run this script. And you can see this new global variable was created. If we open that up, we just need to copy this whole section. If we run this script again, it's going to clear up the global variable so it's not taking up space for us. Go back to the script that we created and we'll paste this parameter in here. So let's take a look at what's going on in here. So we have a, a let statement, and there is a, a fields and calcs let variable, which is set to this list here, and is then used as one of three parameters that are passed along to the script that we're calling. And the list is alternating field names and calculation expressions. The calculations will be evaluated using FileMaker's evaluate function. So this is where we specify what fields we want to have populated with test data and how we want that data to be generated. And when this code snippet was created, the script that did that looks at all the fields that are on the current layout and also all the fields that are in the table that the current layout is based on, even if those fields are not on the layout itself. And it then creates a list of those fields. It also tries to guess which custom function is going to be appropriate for each field. So for example, if we have a, a date field like we do over here, it selects the random date function. And if we have a number field, it does the random number and so on. All right, so we'll go through and change the values here accordingly. So we actually don't care about this first field, so I'll remove that. 
the second field was a text field, so the script wasn't sure which custom function to use. So we'll use this random value from value list because this field is actually using a value list. And the value list is called assign2. This next one is the same thing. And the same thing here. For the cost, we'll do a random number somewhere between $1 and $10, rounded to the nearest dollar. This next field we'll remove. For the date, we'll do a random date between last year and this year and we'll do the same for all of the other dates that are here. For the depreciation years, we'll do a random number between one and 10, round it to the nearest whole number. For the container, we'll set it to a text value and we'll do random words somewhere between five and 10 words. And we'll do the same for the other container fields as well. And at this point, I'm going to speed up the video so that we don't spend too much time doing this. Okay, so now we've got this calculation set up. We can save the script and click on the button here to run it. When we do that, it's going to ask us the question from before. We'll do replace. We could do either one, really. And now we have test data. So if we wanted to create additional test records, we can run this script here. Now it's going to give us a warning that it's not set up correctly. To set it up, we need to make two small changes. We can just look for these edit markers here. It's going to ask us how many records we want to create. So we need a global text field to receive the user input. So I'm just going to create that real quick. We need to make this a global field, so I'll do that. And there it is. We'll use this same field down here and specify it as the field where the user is going to tell us how many records we want to create. So if we run the script now, we can say we want to have a total of 100 records. And if we look at the list view, we can see that these records are blank. And if we say use test values, found set, and wait a few moments. And now when we switch over, we can see that there is test data here. So I hope you find this useful. You can download the tool and read more about this whole approach at my blog post. There is a link below the video. Also, please check out our other videos and consider subscribing to our Salian TV channel. Thank you.